All right, section um, 7.4. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to talk about what the, the degree is. Um, we're dealing with polynomials. This is the chapter kind of on polynomials. So we're going to find the degree of a monomial. Um, first of all, a monomial is a number, um, a variable or a product of a number, and one or more variables. So that's um, a term, monomial, okay? So examples of, so let me do this. Yes, this is a monomial. No, this is not a monomial. So it could be a number. It could be a number and a variable. It could be a combination of more than one variable, even with an exponent, you can have a negative, all that good stuff, okay? Um, what is not a monomial is having it as an addition, um, having it in the basement. You cannot have a variable in the denominator, so... Let me point out all these pieces that are against the rules. Um, we cannot have the exponent in, or we cannot have the variable in the exponent, and we can also not have a negative exponent, which by the way, then shoves us back down into the basement, okay? So this is what a monomial is to begin with. The degree of the monomial is really looking at um, the powers, okay? So let me, with the same, okay? What is, so here, I'm going to go ahead and use um, pink here, and I'm going to highlight. So what the degree is really talking about the exponents. So where's the exponent here? Is there a degree there? No, so that doesn't have a degree. How about this? What's the degree on this x, though? I don't see it. You're right, that's a 1. Now, this one's kind of tricky. What's the number on the exponent? Well, it's a one, but then this piece we're gonna to count two. So this is actually one plus two, which is a total of three on that one. And this is just a five. So being able to say what the degree is, is really important. So you're gonna practice um, that a little. All right, so first of all, tell me, I'm gonna give you um, three things. So first of all, tell me, is this a monomial, yes or no, and what the degree is? Monomial and yes or no, and then tell me what the degree is. Okay, so are you ready? What's the degree if it is a monomial? Well, guess what? All of these are monomials. These all actually work. None of them go against the rules that we had over here. So in this case, my degree is four, three, plus two is five. Now this is a fraction, but the Y is not down in the bottom. That is a one, and this doesn't have a variable, so this would be a zero. All right, very good. Um, the next piece is actually classifying. So I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to take my highlighter. And I'm kind of highlighting my main pieces here. All right, classifying. So here are the words that we use to classify polynomials, which are many terms together. So we have a monomial so far, right? And then you can have a binomial. We can have a trinomial, or you have a polynomial, okay? 
and then I'm going to talk about the rules. So let me give you an example of each. All right, here we go. A monomial, how about this? A binomial would be two terms put together. A trinomial would be three terms. Notice that these are not like terms because I have different variables. And a polynomial would be three or more, okay? Here are your rules on writing polynomials. Number one, so we want to talk about standard form, okay? Standard form is in highest to lowest degree, okay? Um, then we are able to tell from there what the degree is, and we want to take a look at the leading coefficient. Now, remember, coefficient, I'm going to highlight that, coefficient um, is talking about the number in front, okay? And the degree would be the power, actually. I should use a different color, right? Okay. So here we go. Here's my example, okay? 15x minus x cubed plus 3. So the first thing I want to do is this in descending order, meaning the highest degree. So let's take a look. Wow, that's my highest degree, isn't it? So I need you to take that whole piece, okay? This whole thing, okay? The negative with it. That's going to come to the front, okay? Now, what's the next highest degree? You're right, it's the 15. Take this whole 15. Now, this is positive, right? So let's bring that down, plus 15x. And what am I left with? The plus 3. So, at, so put plus 3. Now, tell me what... What would I classify this polynomial? It has one, two, three. So this is a trinomial. What is the highest degree that it has? So notice that this is one single monomial. So circle my highest. So my highest degree is three. And what is my leading coefficient? I'm gonna call it my LC. Well, my LC is right there. What's the number there, though? I don't see it. You're right. It's a negative one. All of those pieces are super important when pulling this together, okay? Super important. Um, we did not add the 3 and the X because it wasn't all one monomial, okay? All right, let's try another one. Let's try this one. T squared minus 2t cubed minus 10t um, plus 5t to the fourth. All right, here we go. Let's look for our biggest degree. Oh, right there. Okay, take this whole piece. All right, let's write that in front. 5t to the fourth. All right, what's next? Let's see, four right here. Okay, take that whole piece minus 2t cubed. All right, now what? t squared, that's a positive, plus t squared and negative 10t. Now, it's real easy. What's my highest degree? It's four. What's my leading coefficient? That's easy. It's five. And let's see, I'm one, two, three, four. Do I have a four? Nope, this must just be a polynomial for classifying. Um, we actually call them, um, they, we do have them go up. Um, this would actually be, we call this quart, um, quartic in nature, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the next and very last piece is putting this all together and adding and subtracting. And you know what, friends? This is all about like terms, okay? So you can add 
and subtract like terms. So I'm going to do this right here because this is going to be so easy. You are going to rack this out. So I'm going to do the first one. X squared minus X minus 2 plus 7X squared minus X. Okay, so first of all, it's just saying this polynomial or this trinomial plus this binomial. So if this is a plus, I would just write this like this. Okay, without any parentheses. And then what I like to do is I start, like to start circling my like terms. Now my like terms are going to have like degrees here. So x squared, 7x squared. So what's, what's the number in front of this? You're right, that's a 1. So it's 1 plus 7. 8x squared. Very good. Okay, next piece. What do I got now? Negative x and a negative x makes negative 2x. Awesome. And my last piece, negative 2 and nobody else belongs. Now notice what I did is I already wrote this in descending order, didn't I? x squared minus 2x minus 2. Look, I don't even have to rewrite it. I already did it. Okay. Now, we can also subtract. Okay. And subtraction, um, this is what I would do. And if you do this, you probably won't have any sign errors involved. So the first thing I would do is if this is a minus, I would go through and distribute that minus. So I'm going to rewrite my first part is not affected. So what's two negatives make a positive 4p squared. Two negatives make a positive p. And a negative times a positive makes a negative 3. And then go ahead and circle my like terms. All right, any p cubes? Nope. Okay. All right, squared here. And here, make sure you circle your sign before. So what's one plus four? Five P squared. Okay. All right, next on the list, P's. One, two. All right. Next on the list, positive three, negative three. Well, that's zero. Do I have to write zero? No but it's okay if you do. So we're really focusing on collecting like terms. Okay, thanks friends.